Hi everyone, this is Mrs. GA, and today we're going to be solving equations with powers. Uh, so before we start, I have a warm-up for you guys, so please pause the video and give these three a try. Alright, so go ahead and check your answers here. Um, so for part A, I, did, I found the prime factors, and since it's a fourth root, I was looking for groups of four. So you get two times the fourth root of three. For part B, cube roots, you're working looking for groups of three. Three goes into three once, so x to the power of one. Three goes into eight twice with a remainder of two. And three goes into four once with a remainder of one. And then for part C, a uh, square root of 150. So I noticed that 150 is divisible by 25, which is a perfect square. Square root of 25 is five, so that's how we got five root six. All right, so today uh, we're going to be solving equations with powers, and here's how you can do it. Uh, your first job is always going to be to isolate the term with the expression or power. So sometimes you may need to add, subtract, multiply, or divide to do so. Then you're going to take the nth root of both sides that matches the power. So if it's a, cu a cube, you're going to take the cube root of both sides. Um, if you are using an even root, it's really important um, that you use a plus or minus with it. Um, so for example, if you're taking the square root or the fourth root of both sides, it needs to be the plus or minus fourth root. And then sometimes you may need to finish solving for your variable if necessary. Um, I do want to remind you that you cannot take an even root of a negative number. So if you ever come across that scenario where you would need to do that, your answer would be um, no solution. All right, so let's give these four a try together. Um, so we're going to solve and we're going to leave our answers in simplified radical form when necessary. So remember, our first job, if I look at number one, is to isolate. So I see that I need to move the 3 to the other side. So I can do that by dividing both sides by 3. And that gives us x cubed equals 64. So now that my term is isolated, um, I since it's x cubed, I'm going to take the cube root of both sides. So cube root of this side and this side. So when I take the cube root of the left side, it actually simplifies to just x, which is our goal. And then the cube root of 64 is 4. And then we're done. All right, let's look at part b. So here, my term with the power is already isolated. So x plus 4 is, let's think of this as a single term because it's grouped. So from here, our first step, we can actually take that fourth root of both sides. Um, I'm going to write it again just to give myself some more space to show my step. Now for this one, again, our exponent is 4, so we're going to take the fourth root of each side. But since it is an even uh, root, remember we need to do the plus or minus fourth root of each side. So don't forget about that plus or minus sign. Um, so on the left side of our equation, this fourth root cancels out the exponent of 4. So we have x plus 4 equals plus or minus. And the square root of 81 is, or sorry, the fourth root of 81 is 3. So we have plus or minus 3. Um, so from here, we do need to do an extra step to finish solving. We do need to um, subtract 4, but also we need to set up two separate equations, one for positive 3 and one for negative 3. So we can do that first. So we get x plus 4 equals positive 3, x plus 4 equals negative 3, and then we'll subtract 4 from each side. So we get x equals negative 1 and x equals negative 7. So you can see here how important it is to remember that plus or minus because if you forget, you're actually going to be missing an entire answer. 
Um, so please, 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 anytime you take an um, even root of both sides, put the plus or minus sign out front. All right, let's have a look at part C. So again, our first step needs to be to isolate um, x cubed. So we can achieve that by multiplying both sides by 2. And here, since we have x cubed, we will take the cube root. Since it's an odd root, no need for the plus or minus. So this leaves us with x equals negative 2. The cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. All right, and last, again, I'm going to rewrite to give myself space. Here, uh, our term with the power is already isolated. So to get rid of the power of 5, we will take the fifth root of each side. So this leaves us with x minus 7 equals the fifth root of 8. Here, um, there's no way to simplify the fifth root of 8, so we'll leave it like this. Um, but we do need to finish solving for x, so we can add 7 on both sides. Notice this is a radical, this is not, so they need to be two separate terms. So we can say x equals um, 7 plus the fifth root of 8. So we're going to leave it like this. Or you could write it in the other order, the fifth root of 8 plus 7. They mean the same thing. Um, what is important is that I can tell um, that the plus 7 is not inside your fifth root. They are two um, separate terms. And this is our answer. Um, since the, the um, prompt did ask us to leave our answer in simplified radical form, this is how we will leave it. But of course, um, if necessary, you could always plug this into your calculator to get a decimal approximation. All right. Um, so at this point, I'm going to ask you to pause the video and give these three a try on your own. And then when you're ready to check your work, um, just hit play. All right, go ahead and um, check your steps. Um, so in the first one, you have to isolate and then take the plus or minus fourth root of both sides. So don't forget that plus or minus because we actually have two answers, positive 2 and negative 2. And you can write your answer in either way. Uh, for part b, we can start by taking the cube root of both sides and then adding 2 to get x equals negative 1. Uh, for part c, you do need to multiply both sides by 5 and then take the plus or minus fourth root. So you get plus or minus fourth root of 80, which you can simplify. Um, and it gives you the plus or minus um, 2 fourth root of 5. So make sure if you're left with a radical, um, simplify it as much as you can. All right, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching.